Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the University of Adelaide graduation ceremony. This morning's ceremony is for the graduates of the Faculty of Professions. Uh, the ceremony will commence in about five minutes, uh, just some housekeeping first. Uh, the university has a contract photographer to provide a photography service during the ceremony. If you wish to take photos during the ceremony, I'd ask that you do so discreetly from your seat and please do not use a flash. Uh, to maintain the ceremony's decorum, could you please also switch off your cell phones now? For safety reasons, I would ask guests not to enter the galleries upstairs on the side, and please do not sit on the steps in the balcony area. In the event of emergency, please follow the instructions of the security officers and the ushers. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the academic procession, which is about to enter the hall. And please remain standing for the Australian National Anthem. You are, you are encouraged to, enjoy, uh, to join singing. The text of the anthem is put, printed on page two of your graduation program. Please rise for the academic procession.
I, Robert Murray Hill, Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, declare this congregation convened for the purpose of presenting degrees. Distinguished guests, parents, relatives, friends, and especially graduates, welcome to the University of Adelaide's graduation ceremony. I wish to acknowledge the Ghana people, the original custodians of the Adelaide Plains and the land on which the University of Adelaide's campuses at North Terrace, Waite, Theberton and Roseworthy are built. Graduate, your graduation is an event in which you and your family and friends can take great pride. It's also a source of pride and satisfaction for the University of Adelaide. Graduation Day is an opportunity for you to reflect both on the past and the future. This may well be a very significant change in direction in your life. Whatever directions your life may take, the skills that you've acquired and developed here will stand you in good stead, not only in your working and professional life, but in life generally. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce to you today's graduation orator, the Honourable Margaret Nyland. After graduating in law from Adelaide University, Margaret Nyland practised as a barrister and solicitor for about 22 years, in the course of which she established one of the largest family law practices in South Australia. In March 1987, Margaret Nyland was appointed a judge of the District Court of South Australia, and in 1993, she was elevated to the bench of the Supreme Court. She remained a Supreme Court judge for 19 years. In 2005, Margaret Nyland was made a member of the Order of Australia for Services to the Judiciary, Human Rights, and the Equal Status of Women. We're privileged to hear her speak today. Please welcome the Honourable Margaret Nyland. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, members of staff, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. Let me start off this morning by offering my congratulations to those of you who are graduating today. This represents the culmination of many hard years of work, so I'm delighted to have this opportunity to acknowledge your achievements in obtaining your degrees. As I look out at the audience, I see many smiling and proud faces amongst your families and friends. Therefore, on behalf of the graduates, I would like to say thank you to all of them whose support over the years has made this event possible. It is now many years since I accepted my degree in this very same spot. But despite the passage of time, the occasion is still fresh in my memory. I recall it being a day of mixed emotions. I guess the greatest was the feeling of, of enormous relief that exams were truly over. 
uh, but that was mingled with the anticipation and excitement which is associated with moving on to the next phase of my life. However, underlying that was a degree of apprehension as to what the future might hold and whether I would be able to cope with whatever challenges lay ahead. And challenges there were. When I look back on my legal career, I think it is fair to say that the greatest obstacle I had to face after obtaining my law degree was obtaining my first job. That was as an articled clerk. Without that position, I would not have been able to complete my qualifications for admission to the bar in order to be able to become a practicing lawyer. I sent off my application to a great number of law firms, but I was rejected by all. This undoubtedly was the lowest point of my career. The reason for rejection was consistent. That is, I was female and not worth employing. Women only got married and left work, so training them was a waste of time and money. Fortunately, such blatant discrimination no longer exists. The competition for employment remains keen, and the difficulty of obtaining a job is very much an issue in these modern times. In the legal profession, the dilemma faced by women in endeavouring to combine the responsibilities of caring for a family whilst pursuing a legal career is a matter of ongoing debate for which no easy solution has yet been found. The way in which you deal with any problems which lay ahead will not only affect your work, but the whole of your life. You should not expect that merely wanting something will bring it about. You should trust your instincts and you should lay yourselves open to as many influences as possible in order to properly equip yourselves for whatever the future holds. I firmly believe that no one who achieves success does so in isolation. In my case, I was lucky to have supportive parents who understood the importance of education and later the support of a great number of people who helped me throughout my legal career. This included Pam Cleland, who dismissed the negative comments about employing a woman, which were echoed, echoed by some of her male partners, and gave me that very first job, very important first job, which launched my legal career. There was also Dame Roma Mitchell, who was not only the first female Supreme Court judge in Australia, but also, uh, as Chancellor of this university, the first woman in Australia to hold that high office, and of course she later became the first female governor of the state, and the first female governor in Australian history. She was an outstanding role model for all people, and in the law she was a trailblazer who did much for the advancement of women. I first met Dame Roma at this university when I was studying family law. In time we became good friends and I was very lucky to have had her as a mentor and her advice was invaluable, particularly during my time as a judge. To date, you've had the support of family and friends and your university colleagues. But as you move forward, you will add to this list. There'll be those who employ you who will act as your mentors and help you weather the ups and downs of your chosen profession. There will be your professional colleagues and there will be your clients or others who will seek out your assistance. How you deal with all of these people will be reflected not only in your own success but in the success of our society as a whole. So you have a great responsibility. But do not be daunted by that. Steadfastly face whatever trials and tribulations lie ahead. And always endeavour to retain a sense of humour, as that will serve you well. And do not be embarrassed or afraid to ask for help when needed. Just as I did, you will find that there are a great many people who have gone before who will happily give you the benefit of their wise counsel. In obtaining your degrees, you've had the advantage of arming yourselves with a good education, and that will stand you in good stead as you move forward. 
However, you should, mem should, you should remember that learning is not a static experience, but a lifelong commitment. Aristotle once described education as an ornament in prosperity and a refuge in adversity. I trust you'll find it so. I earlier mentioned the emotions that I felt on my graduation day. The one I've not mentioned to date was the impatience to complete the formal part of the ceremony so I'd go out and start celebrating in an appropriate manner. So I'll say no more so we can get on with the formal part of the ceremony and you can go out and celebrate because you've earned it. Thank you. On behalf of the graduates and their families attending the ceremony today, I would like to thank the Honourable Margaret Nyland AM for her stimulating and inspiring address. We are honoured that you have taken the time to join us on this special day to share with us your thoughts and experiences. Your words of encouragement and advice are greatly appreciated. They remind us that education places upon each of us an enduring responsibility to make the best possible use of our talents and to contribute to the betterment of society in whatever way we can. Please join me once again in thanking the Honourable Margaret Nyland AM. Chancellor, in 2009, the university established the University Doctoral Research Medals. These medals are awarded to graduates who have completed outstanding research at doctoral level. This award is the premier award for doctoral candidates at the university. I, Professor Warren Bebbington, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, present to you the winner of the 2012 University Doctoral Research Medal. for research in the field of law, Gabriel Appleby. <clears throat> Chancellor, every year the university presents university medals to acknowledge the most outstanding graduates in each faculty who have completed an undergraduate honours program or a bachelor program of at least four years duration. The university medals are awarded to them for their consistently outstanding performance across the whole of their undergraduate studies. I, Professor Warren Bevington, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, present to you the winners of the 2012 University Medals from the Faculty of Professions. Rosetta Mary Dolman. <laughs> Asta Hill. <laughs> and Kelsley, Kelsey Jane Wilkins. receive the candidates for degrees and I call on the Vice-Chancellor. Chancellor, I, Professor Warren Bevington, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, certify to you and the whole university that the graduates who will be presented to you have all fulfilled the conditions prescribed for admission to the awards for which they are so presented. 
Uh, Robin Murray Hill, Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, by virtue of the power committed to me by the university, confirm that each graduate is admitted to the rank and privileges of a holder of the award in the University of Adelaide for which they are so presented. And I now call on the acting head of the School of Economics to present the graduates. Chancellor, I, I present to you graduates from the School of Economics to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Agricultural Land Tenancy in Rural Bangladesh, Productivity Impact and Process of Contract Choice, Shamina Ahmed. For a thesis entitled Essays on the Australian Economy, a Neoclassical Perspective, Muhammad Altaf Ul Alam. For a thesis entitled, Is Joint Liability Lending More Efficient Than Individual Lending? A Theoretical and Experimental Analysis. Suchi Fong Shatragom. To the degree of Master of Applied Economics International, Mu Lin Chen. Shang Wen Meng. And Dian Phuc Le Tran. To the degree of Master of International Trade and Development. Courtney Francis Edwards. Courtney Francis Edwards. Eliza Jane Ferguson. Nina Florencia Gino. Paul Silvio Grandoni. And Jack Morris. To the Graduate Certificate in Economics, Muki Kenneth Van Bulle, and Alexandra Elizabeth Nation. To the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Economics, Aaron James Blanco. Rosetta Mary Dolman. <laughs> Jocelyn Galvez Diaz. <laughs> Roger Samuel Hassan. <laughs> Lauren Susan Lily Kay. <laughs> Anne Lee Tai. Kelsey Jane Wilkins. To the degree of Bachelor of Economics, Nicole Peter Bradshaw. Serena Joanne Campbell Frith. Bridget Elizabeth Coffey. Sam Capruso, <laughs> Cheng Dong, <laughs> Ethan Bryce Dorsten, Ethan also receives a Bachelor of Finance, Mark, Mark Jared Durka, Mark also receives a Bachelor of Finance, <laughs> Jason John Economos, Al 
Alice Carolyn Frank. Alice also receives a Bachelor of Finance and a Diploma in Languages. Matthew Grazer. Matthew also receives a Bachelor of International Stu Studies. Kazi GM um, Zeol Haag. Richard Gideon Hector. Richard also received a Diploma in Languages. Adam Peter Kreminski. Adam also receives a Bachelor of International Studies and a Diploma in Languages. Esther Amy Lukacs. Mamun Ukadea. Daniel Francis McCabe. Muhammad Fadli Noor Azman. Brooke Palmer. Alistair Timothy Pelham. Man Ki Poon. Feng Chu, Kadri Nasia Farin, Nathan John Scott, Thomas Rodney Sheldrick, Mia Katina Tam. Llewellyn Samer Thomas. Llewellyn also receives a Bachelor of Engineering with honors. Lucille Margaret White. Matthew James White. Matthew also receives a Bachelor of International Studies. And Richard Gordon Yu. Adelaide Law School to present the graduates from the Adelaide Law School. Chancellor, I, Professor John Williams, Dean of the Law School, present to you graduates from the Adelaide Law School. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled The Constitutional Role of the Solicitor General, an Historical, Legal and Lived Portrait, Gabrielle Jody Appleby. <laughs> to the degree of Masters of Business Law, Taryn Lee Alderdice. To the degree of Master of Comparative Law, Anita Gabriella King. <laughs> to the degree of Masters of Laws, Alistair Freeling Levick Cody. <laughs> Shashimi Nilinjani Ruan Party Runner. <laughs> Renata Maxine Swiracott. To the Graduate Certificate in Business Law, Kane Harris, and Kane also receives a Professional Certificate in Arbitration, and Samantha Joanne Mill. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Gemma Marnie Ackland, <laughs> Warwick Foss Ambrose. Bernard James Enderi. <laughs> Michael John Bain. <laughs> Ellen Louise Beatty. Yeah. 
Kate Saunderson Bloom. Claire Margaret Booth. Oliver Thomas Broadbridge. Maggie Chan. Benjamin Robert Shahadi. And Benjamin also receives a Bachelor of International Studies. Cheryl Sue Mei Chin. Samuel John Christie. Holly Elizabeth Clark. Lucinda Rose Cooper Hackman. Alison Louise Cowley. <laughs> Timothy Matheson Cross. Samuel Mark Cummins. And Samuel also receives a Bachelor of Commerce. Lorena Marie De Palma. And Lorena also receives a Bachelor of International Studies. Anthony Diskiskio. Amelia Ferroni. Daniel Lee Fawcett. Stephanie Faye Geller. Isabel Rowe Gibson, Rose Gibson. Hamish John Gillis. Maximilian Givanucci. Erme Glinich. Oscar Samuel Grosser Kennedy. Holly Tiffany Grist. Emily Nicole Ha. Chelsea Diane Hannaford. Ilya Jason Harpus. Christian Alexander Hendrigento. Cassandra Hodzik. Elisa Ray Hoffman. Sarah Alice Hudson. Zoe Ann Irwin. Isaac Rhys Jacobson. Christopher David James. Louise Ann Jensen. Natasha Ann Jolly. Matilda Lily Giardini. Catherine Ann Larker. Damien Jeremy Lasopi. Emily May Lyons. Pandalia Maranakis. Courtney Jade McDonald. And Courtney also receives a Bachelor of Commerce. Samuel Richard McNeil. James Michael Megan, and James also receives a Bachelor of Arts. Lisa Belinda Mufati. Alexander Daniel Craig Normandale. Lucielle Abigail Elizabeth Akini Amundi. Adam Jeffrey Phillips. <laughs> Lucy Natasha Radowicz. 
Kate Elizabeth Raggett. Rebecca Ang Noon Hui. Catherine Margaret Ann Wren. And Catherine also receives a Bachelor of Commerce. Cameron Jod Ritalik. James Lyle Roder. Bonnie Louise Russell. Teresa Margaret Ryan, and Teresa also receives a Bachelor of Environmental Policy and Management. Nicholas James Rycrock. Molly Scanlon. Thomas Max Sloniger, and Thomas also receives a Bachelor of Engineering with Honours. Oliver John Donaldson Sheehan. Dale John Sheedy. Mario Rishan Chauvain Silva. Michael James Spagnoletti. Michael Spirit. John Sian Su. Anna Amelia Tallis. Raffaella Victoria Alice Time. Nicholas Craig Tilsner. Marta Vesosi. Thomas Clissold Vincent. Anna Louise Wondol. Deborah Grace White. Daniel Lee Wilkinson. Lewis William Winter. Claire Jarsi Yong Wong. And Verity Jane Zerner. To the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Daniel Dean Arbon, Thomas Henry Austin, Eddie Baziani, Angela Batsakis, Charlotte May Katrina Bizanju. Lily Rose Black. Bridie Jessica Callahan. Daniel Anthony Centafanti. Angus Henry Chisholm. Shirley Kit Yang Chung. Jacinta Kate Connell. Karen Estelle Cross. Patrick DeRuvo. Nithya and Alain de Sosa. Scott Andrew Druce. Harry Clifford E. Narsen. Wei Jen Fu. Joshua Ian Andrew Francis. Amanda Rose Fracas. Simon Jane Frisby. Geraldine Yin Ming Tian. Lucky Giri. 
Mary, Miriam George Habib Tanios. Ryan Daniel Harris. Sophie Alexandra Hethese. And Sophie also receives a Bachelor of Arts. Lauren Emily Hillica. Tao in Laowen. Wingy Lu. Ramesh Paul J. Kuma. Rebecca Louise Johnson Ryan. Melissa Ann Joyce. Peter Kukos. Sasha Cree Sinich. Sho Lam. Kwok Hin Arthur Lee. Samuel James Lehman. Lee John Ella Lee. Virginia Sin Shan Lu. Miriana Longka. Oliver Douglas Lucker Smith. Lachlan Peter McRae. Angus McNabb Main. Vanda Mastrovito. Thomas Lincoln Moffat. Kate Moody. Emma Moulds, and Emma also receives a Bachelor of Economics. Rhiannon Louise Newman. To your new wing. Dominic Nochera, and Dominic also receives a Bachelor of Arts. Nashruna Anna Nordian. Anna Lee Pagliaro. Mark Papadimitrio. Philip Freeping. Daniela Louise Pinotti. Lauren Renee Potter. Samantha Prentergast. Samuel James Reese. David William Rieger. And David also receives a Bachelor of Arts. Lee Yu Wei Rong. Taran Lee Ryan. Kunal Bursing Sachdev. Sarah Jean Schmidt, and Sarah also receives a Bachelor of Development Studies. Soon Mi Shin. Yvonne Marie Schinners. Alana Jane Shirley. Gemma Ann Sylvester. Stephen Peter Smith. Ella Louise Sobey. Alexandra Sparsojevic. And Alexandra also receives a Bachelor of Arts. Jake Fletcher Stacey. Alana Thompson. Claire Elizabeth Thompson. 
Justin Paul Timmer. Georgia J. Tolhurst. Georgette Toyas. Jacqueline Lin Kim Chan. John Morgan Trias. Natalie Ann Wade. Ken Wang, and Ken also receives a Bachelor of Commerce. Nicholas Stephen Whittam. David Wilkins. Lisa Ann Williams, and Lisa also receives a Bachelor of Music Education and a Diploma of Languages. Brittany Jade Willis. Kwan Hong Michael Wong. And Sunny Kim Hu Wu. <laughs> to the Professional Certificate in Arbitration, John Rasht. Concluding the ceremony, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the mace bearer, the musicians, and all staff and student volunteers who assisted in the organization and running of the ceremony. I invite you all to light refreshments in the Eclipse Function Room on level four of the Union Building on the lower level of the campus, and the signage to direct you to the Union Building and also to Hub Central where photographers framing and other merchandise will be available. I have great pleasure in congratulating all the new graduates here today. As graduates of the University of Adelaide, you are also its alumni and ambassadors for the university. Over the years since the University of Adelaide was established, its alumni have made an enormous contribution to the community, both here and throughout the world. You have a stake in this great institution because the qualifications it has given you and your experiences while here are yours for, for life. Your knowledge, friendship, active participation and interest in the university's ongoing development are very important to its continuing reputation and strength. I invite you to stay in contact with us via the online community, Adelaide on Lyon. And you'll receive login details and a membership card over the next month. I ask the new graduates to remain seated and the audience to now stand and join me in congratulating the graduates on their achievements. Will the audience remain standing and the graduates now please stand for the academic procession followed by the VIP guests and graduates and I now declare this congregation to be adjourned.